Okay. Uh, I'll start, and the please cut off uh, just 20 minutes uh, if I open. Okay, uh, this is a model to show the three layers uh, model continent. First continent we know uh, well, granitic composition. The second continent we think uh, again uh, granitic composition, but mainly uh, in the mantle transition, specifically the bottom. But some may be floating in the topmost. Uh, uh, lower mantle. Third one is yellow, uh, an orthocytic one, uh, together with slab graveyard and two super room. Uh, is now the figure uh, we have. We will discuss now a uh, three layer model of continents uh, as follows. Uh, first, on the after historical review, uh, then the why uh, this model was born and dynamics of first, second, and third continents, and the problem to be solved. And uh, if time is available, I will discuss expanding and contracting Earth, together with situation. Uh, and first, uh, three-layer model of continent are new mantle dynamics uh, started uh, from, uh, by New America, uh, <coughs> first principle calculation by Kawai san uh, and others. And let me summarize the uh, uh, progress uh, for the research at the consuming plate boundary uh, after 2000. And the first important concept has come from the so-called tectonic erosion. So tectonic erosion means uh, destroying a uh, frontal edge of overlying plates that is mainly continental crust and no efficient complex. It means where have gone uh, the tectonically eroded materials this is first important uh, uh, observation and question. And second, direct subduction of iron dark uh, in the Western Pacific, uh, 20 to 35 kilometers thick uh, crust. So direct subduction of iron dark means uh, granite uh, is now uh, being subducted, and which is more common in the Archean Proterozoic Earth. And third, Lower mantle or transition zones contain seven to eight times granitic blocks uh, than the surface continents. So Kawai san will give a talk again uh, in this meeting too. So therefore, continental crust subduct into mantle. So this is a view of the Earth before 2008. Granite never subduct once so far once formed on the Earth. This is a, a normal view. A low density materials never subduct into mantle by buoyancy, but this is wrong. And uh, I just said that tectonic erosion, uh, this, you can imagine this, and, uh, same as Japan, present the volcanic front here. But 100 million years ago, volcanic front, it's a granite, is now almost near to the trench. And the bulky material means uh, uh, tectonically eroded material going move uh, into the mantle transition zone. And second continent, TTG material must be more than seven times that I mentioned. Yeah. And this one also may work to uh, stop slab penetration. So the, we have come uh, to this conclusion when we have worked for the uh, growth curve of granitic crust through uh, over all geologic time, back to uh, 4 billion years, by the river mouth zircon over the world, major uh, river mouth zircon we have measured. So the, this is the results uh, of the growth curve of continents, and 100, and this is geologic time. So 100 means present day a volume of continents. When we have <coughs> <laughs> done this work, and then we are supplied to see. First two billion years, you can see almost thousand. Why? And then the next one, interoceanic earths are all going into the mantle. Japan, uh, <coughs> Japan here, Korea is here. One yellow color, one, two, three, four, five, six, all are interoceanic iron bags back to 100 million years. All are now being subducted underneath East Asia. 
remaining almost nearly uh, 0.001% in the case of is collision, that's all collinear bending. So <clears throat> this has long been known, but nobody pointed out why. So then we have what, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is a direct map of the Earth, as I made by myself uh, through uh, 20, about 20,000 papers, just simple, but please look at uh, for example, let's focus on the how to make continents in the case of only North America. This one uh, <coughs> by Paul Hoffman, and the first continent was born at about uh, 2 billion years. This is a time sequence, and this is the name of continents, uh, like a uh, uh, tree. So the number of continents means uh, smaller pieces. So you will see, for example, in the case of slave, this is embryonal continent, and collided with life, and also a harm, a super and that, to make a original organic belt. We can unravel this embryonal continent, uh, shown gray, and then uh, <coughs> we, will, we, we can uh, discuss that embryonal continent and the big continent that North America was born at about 2 billion years by collision of embryonic continent that formed a, a collision in oceanic region. This is the geologic record. So then if you were close up and to make a geologic map, and you will see a several tens or uh, up to 100 small iron duct within this grave. So <clears throat> first continent was born about uh, 2 billion, and then the size is approximate uh, 3,000 kilometers. This is the thickness of the whole mantle, suggesting the birth of big plate, same as today, it was 2 billion years ago. But if you go back over through of island, double air convection, and then earth mixture, it uh, length is less than 700 kilometers. This is the thickness of upper mantle. So that therefore, double-layer mantle convection and 400 microplates on the Archean Proteozoic Earth. And also, the study of the oldest part of the Earth, like uh, is uh, back to nearly 4 billion and are customized, then the, we can calculate the rhizosphere using mantle potential temperature by the surface record of the rock, uh, mid-oceanic basalts in those days, and also surface temperature by the presence of pillowed basalts. And subduction zone geosan, we will see have a strongly penetrated public, uh, that is a, a regional metamorphic PT conditions. Then uh, we can deconstruct Archean pre-tectonics versus Pinozoic uh, pre-tectonics. Left is Archean, uh, for about 4 billion years ago, so already the more uh, is basalt, not matiate. Matiate is appeared on the uh, OID. Therefore, uh, temperature was about 200 K higher. So therefore, we, we will have two contrasting pictures. The Archean pretectum is much faster than the modern one. The reason why is extensive slab melting. Slab melting. So the density contrast you will see uh, with respect to uh, at the mantle of course, buoyant in the crust, but one subducted and also slab melts appears, then the much stronger uh, uh, <coughs> dense difference. Okay, uh, next one, the density estimated by path principle calculation. And this is the result, it's a density horizontal axis and the thickness of upper mantle. You will see granite, red one, is of course uh, most buoyant uh, in the uppermost. Uh, region, but then after a uh, 300 kilometer depth up to 800 kilometer, granite is heaviest, heaviest red one. Among all major rocks in mantle, pyrolite, halfpyrolite, mid-oceanic basalt, anosite, and uh, granite. And this is uh, transition zone, the bottom <laughs> depth range. Uh, Fred, we can use that compared to uh, peridotite versus and other rock sites in terms of VP and VS. This is one Kawaii San is going to give a talk. And uh, anyway, the heaviest one is granite. And in the lower mantle, on the red one is again uh, to be uh, buoyant compared to the other rock sites. And note the presence of anosite blocks. 
meta on site, of course, calcium peroxide and nitroxide is the heaviest on the bottom of the mantle. So density of first principle calculations as a several conclusion. First, uh, granite is buoyant on the Earth's surface, but heaviest in the uh, mantle transition zone. Uh, <coughs> a little bit, uh, but. And second, again, TTC become buoyant among all major rock types in the lower mantle. So therefore, granites must have accumulated in the mantle transition zone through time. Third, second continent must have grown through time, uh, through time. Then two questions arise. First, how big? And second, where are they now? Fourth, low, low mantle convection because of self-heating material by second and third continent in mantle were drastically modified mantle dynamics. One example is supercontinent cycle can be explained now by the low rock scan continent. And six, the third continent must have annihilated in the Hadean. And now what's CMB by this calculation, but to be modified a little bit. But this one uh, showed that uh, one of the examples of by Senshu san and others, Amiyama san is also going to join. And the first self-heating second continents. 10% continents uh, will be in the mantle, then heat up 200K in the RTN in the 100 million, and half in the horizon. Supercontinent cycle can be explained by second continent. For example, this is a supercontinent. Uh, one, two, seven, uh, anyway, uh, about 10 continents collided together to mean the refrigeration underneath this mantle. Uh, same as uh, today's uh, East Asia is one of the uh, examples now uh, to have a, a supercontinent Amasia in the near future. But anyway, important point is that upper mantle must be the coldest among uh, all of the upper mantle in the other region. Why this part can be lifted? So it was difficult. So once we saw water, but in addition, we need heat source. That is the role of the second continent. So heat up and then control the mantle convection. So search for the regional distribution of second continent in mantle transition zone over the world. We have not yet reached conclusion. This is really schematic, and you don't have to believe that. Uh, but this is a map uh, by Daphne Chao, uh, and a uh, uh, <coughs> world map. So Japan is here, and the pink color shows possible second continents in a relatively big scale. So the results show the heterogeneous distribution and the absence under major ocean and concentrated underneath a uh, continent is now, uh, Amasia is going to be made uh, mainly in Asia, but also several uh, in North, Middle, South America. Okay, this is the image, uh, just I saw that uh, at the past. So second continent could be uh, 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 concentrated uh, for the future supercontinents and also absent under major, uh, uh, major ocean. And the third uh, continent will be discussed. Why we must consider this one? And why disappeared on the surface of the present day Earth? At, at least we do not know. How did they remove into deep mantle and the pause? Uh, where are they now? So this is the image of the Hadean Earth right after the consolidation of magma ocean at 4.5 GA. And I will have no time to discuss why we must consider this one. But one of the key uh, points is the vast space of light. Difficult uh, to make uh, light in the primordial ocean uh, by some reason. I just uh, put up some, but. Uh, primordial continent must have existed right after consolidation of magma ocean, same as that on the moon. It was anosetic uh, continent uh, plus creep basal, this is the key. Potassium, rare earth, and phosphorus. So these two elements are the key to, make, uh, uh, to give light to the uh, uh, light. That's key. Uh, key uh, nutrients. And the peridotite and the buffer have no potassium and uh, very small amounts of phosphorus. Also, together with uh, this one is iron rich basaltic lower crust and uh, some covers. Second, the oldest rock on the earth is 4 billion, but 100 specimen size we have 4.2 billion. 
So traces back to 4.4 gigahertz zircon uh, could be uh, formed by granitic melts, suggesting all Hadean rocks gone uh, into deep mantle. So the primordial continents enriched in potassium and uh, phosphorus and potassium critical for the birth of life. So this is a cross section of the moon uh, covered by uh, thick anosphytic continents and also uh, brief basalt top and underneath. The Earth should have that one. So the where are the third continent? This is again uh, density and the depth curve uh, for these rocks. And look at the purple one. The purple one is uh, one of the heaviest in the transition zones. But in the lower mantle, and uh, you will see the heaviest <coughs> at the CMB. Uh, that calculation is based on room temperature. And then uh, Kawaii-san started to calculate at elevated temperature along mantle geosan. And then uh, we have revised the height of uh, anorthocytic continents should be modified, not right now on the CMB. And somewhere uh, in the topmost upper mantle, I will discuss uh, this one shortly. This is the image of the whole, uh, whole mantle at right after the a consolidation of magma ocean. So the, this one is anosidic continents. And mantle transition zones uh, may have been brought by convection. And then you will see basal magma ocean. And the basal magma ocean uh, could be changed if anosidic continents uh, is removed uh, to join into the melt. Should be compositionally quite different from that. So for the uh, mantle, the other mantle. And also, this is a point uh, for the mantle over time, uh, not on Venus, on, in the Earth, probably 2.6.2, around 2.6 GA, because the surface is almost all Archean continents were covered in everywhere. And the thickness is always uh, three kilometers or two kilometers. That means uh, mantle over time. So anyway, and then, important point is the implication is that uh, basal magma ocean should, be, should have been frozen. Because you can imagine just cold droplet of ice to refrigerate. Now then, uh, <coughs> we, can, uh, must, uh, we must consider the rising calcium peroboscite and this plume. Sorry, these fingers have not been well drawn. Now on the first topic. Okay. So the where and how did third continents uh, go? So naked planet as I have written this in the paper, I will just em emphasize the key points. Why naked means the earth is almost burning of surface water with only three to five kilometers. Nutrient supply and ocean chemistry poison primary ocean and force. Why has the earth become an animal bearing habitat of planets? We need past life. We need third continents to bear life, and past continents after by uh, increased afterward by tectonics. So conclusion: three layers model of continent was proposed. Ten times more volume it is in mantle transition zone, which controls supercontinent site and probable tongue and slab. Third continent could be present in mantle and force whole mantle dynamics and its evolution. Now, some history and dynamics of mantle all will be changed. That's all. Thanks. Thank you very much. Do we have questions? Probably a number of the complaints. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, bro, let's move. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Very Enjoy. Much. Yeah.